ever Mendit Cycling Club show. Could be very well be the last if nobody <laughs> watches it as well. So, why are we doing it? Well, keep you all entertained during the lockdown. There's not going to be much cycling about, certainly not no team cycling. So we thought we'd entertain you with a little bit of a different twist on cycling. Something maybe a bit more entertaining. Well, <laughs> there's no bikes. Exactly. Entertaining. But, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but first, the news. A new film has been announced starring our very own Keith, Silence of the Lambs. And due to all the panic buying, there's been a shortage of cake. Police are looking for this culprit. And in other news, there is another pandemic sweeping the country. The vlogging virus is catching on. Mark Taylor is the latest victim. It's called Sawpit Lane. So Abby, what are we doing? Well, today we're going to be doing something a bit different to what you usually do. I have spent quite a long time, so please appreciate this. <laughs> um, compiling together a little segment that we are going to be calling Real or Fake. And today's edition is Bike Tech. So I'm going to give you a description of a product, a cycling related product. So I've got to think for this. Yeah. This, this is what I'm banking on, you getting it wrong and it being funny. Okay. So, yeah, Bike Tech, I'll give you a description and a price. you just got to tell me if it's real or fake. It's simple, really. Even you will be able to understand it. <laughs> so I've got I've got things here. Can you see that? Can you I can, see? I can definitely see that. Okay. And then... My eyes. I can't see long distance. I can see the <laughs> see a computer screen. All I know is you need glasses. Okay. So before we go ahead, I'd like to say this is not a sponsored video. So all of the products that you're about to see, they're not sponsoring us in any way, unless they want And it to. may or may not have been ripped off from other channels. <laughs> <laughs> what? But they don't do it about bikes. No. So original. <laughs> okay. So um, there are a lot of things in here to trick you up because I don't know what your cycling gadget knowledge is like. So. Well, we will find out. We'll find out, yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely find out. Okay, so the first product is called Kickstart. Kickstart is the world's first smart bike helmet that beautifully in integrates light, braking, indicators and helmet into a single cohesive whole. Avoiding crashes is always the best option. Eliminate collisions from the rear by warning traffic when you are coming to a hard stop and take the guesswork away by letting the traffic around you know which way you're turning. Controlled via a wireless remote that mounts to the handlebars. So essentially, it's a smart bike helmet, and it's priced at one hundred and twenty-three pounds seventy-eight pence. That, is it real? That sounds or a bit too fake? complicated for you to have thought up in your head. But I thought Kickstart was that place where people put their inventions on to pitch for products. So I'm going to say false on that basis. It's true, and there's a picture of it. Oh my god. So it's got like the little hazards and braking and indicators. <laughs> a hazard helmet. <laughs> Who knew? Yes. Right, next one. So so you're off to a great start. Yeah. One to you, zero to me. Woohoo! Okay, the next one is called Block Party. That's a group. Well, it's a product as well. Not a very good group, if I remember rightly. Block Party is an energy chew dispenser that allows you to easily transport a variety of fruit flavours around on your bike. The airtight, lightweight dispenser mounts onto the handlebars and allows you to customise which gummies you take with you on your ride. So it's like a dispenser It sounds amazing. Chews. And it's priced at £22.99 and comes with three packs of Cliff Shot Blocks, whatever they are. Well, because Block Party... Blocky spelt like that with uh, shot blocks, which are a real thing. So I'm going to say true. Did my research on that one. Oh no. But I imagine they'd look something a bit like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm two up at the moment. Yes. This is this is going great. I'm liking this game. Right, are you ready for the next one? We will solve. I don't mind losing. <laughs> The next one is called Sensor Seat. So the Sensor Seat is a pressure sensitive saddle cover that analyzes your ride and assesses your seating position. If you ever feel any discomfort in your ride, then Sensor Seat may be able to help. It stretches over your saddle and tracks which area of the saddle have the most pressure applied when cycling. 
Through the Sensor Seat app, it calculates which muscles you can actively try to tighten to ensure that your pelvic alignment is the most beneficial to you. So it's a smart bike saddle cover, and it comes in at £34.79. And it seems too cheap, because I know they've definitely got one for bike fits. So let's go false. <gasps> you got one right! Yay! It's fake! <laughs> It is something that people are able to do, but I don't believe it's a product that is domestically available. No, it's, I've definitely seen it in a bike fit video. <laughs> you got one. Are you happy? You got one. Retire skins. <laughs> That's an awful name. <laughs> Retire is for those who want to be safe on the road without all the tire change work. With well, it, you, Del. Yeah, I know. It's it's <laughs> great. Uh, with its patented. Zip technology, you can quickly change the tyre surface to suit the terrain you are cycling on. Now, I have seen something on so GCN. They're tyre skins with zips, basically. Yes. The base skin comes in at £22, and then any additional skin that you want for like ice and snow or whatever ranges from 40 to £60. I'm going to say this is real. It is real. Yeah, I think I'd seen it. <laughs> Yeah. You need these, Dale. You definitely need these. <laughs> they zip on, so. Now, this one. Is fake. Oh, keep touching me face. Stop touching me face. Doctor Strange LED wheel lights. So, now, if you didn't know, I love Marvel. So much so that I made a Doctor Strange costume for my final project at university. And I Insert think now here. is a good time, as any, for a quick plug. Dad can put a costume <laughs> somewhere. These Doctor Strange wheel, wheel lights come from Monkey Light. Monkey Light is the world leader in bike wheel lights. Our products are the brightest and most durable on the market, providing 360 degree visibility for commuter cyclists. Safety has never been this much fun. All lights are waterproof and designed for daily use in all weather conditions. So they're custom wheel lights and they come in at £49.99. See, the, the, the fact that you've checked a Doctor Strange one in there is going to throw me, but I'm going to say fake. In fact, you've just put Doctor Strange in there just to get Marvel costume in. What? It is fake. But if it, if it was real, I imagine it looks something like this. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I want them. Can I have them, please? Can they go in red? Go with my bike. Yeah, but Doctor Strange is green. I'm not worried about Doctor Strange. I'm worried about my canyon, which well, is they, black and red. They do. Monkey Light is a real company, so they do do. They do do. They do 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 do. They do do do. They do... Do. <laughs> do, 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 do. They do do LED do, do they wheel do, do? lights, but they just don't do Doctor Strange ones. Yet. Yet. This is called the Handlebar Jack. The Handlebar Jack is a bike repair stand that gives you peace of mind when performing field repairs or routine maintenance on your bicycle while protecting your handlebars, controls One and expensive accessories. Court. You flip the bike upside down Which and these does. stands attach to the handlebars so that they aren't on the floor and your bike is stable when you're working. So the mini stands for your handlebars, priced at £21.45. Is it real or is it fake? See, that, that sounds real because some people do tip their bikes upside down, which is in the rules of cycling not to do. True. True? Are you sure? No, I'm not looking at your face. <laughs> I think you're getting excited. You got too excited too quickly. So fake. They are real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch little, little tripods for your handlebars. Just why? Why not? Just why? Okay, ready for the next one? Go on. The Hovding 3. The Hovding 3. Swedish. Is the world's safest bicycle helmet. And it isn't even a helmet. The Hovding 3 is an airbag for cyclists that is worn around the neck like a collar. In the event of an accident, the airbag inflates and forms around the head. And I don't know what it's called, but that definitely exists because I've seen it. So that's true if it's called a Hovding 3. <laughs> if it's not called a Hovding 3, is another point. Let me finish my description. According to scientific studies, the airbag technology protects up to eight times better than traditional plastic helmets. So it's an inflatable helmet. Yeah. Yours for £249. Oh, bargain. Yeah, false. Uh, true, you mean. <laughs> yeah. What even is that? It's a spaceman helmet. It's it stupid, is what it well, is. It looks like an inflatable nappy worn on the head. It is what it is. It doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it 
turning around, it's a coronavirus mask. They can wear, the, they can wear those in the current crisis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the virus is coming towards you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, protect. <laughs> At the moment, I believe it's 4 3 to you. But in part two, I'm determined to win. We'll see. So, what are we doing next? Then? Right, we're going to do the caption competition next. So, what we need is for you to come up with your best captions for this photograph. Answers in the comments below. The actual winner, or the one that makes us laugh the most, we'll pick in next week's show. If there is another show. If you don't watch this one, there will be another show. Right. I don't know, what are we doing next? Are we doing Daughter Joke of, of the Week? You can do Daughter Joke of the Week. Excellent, right. So. Don't laugh, please do not laugh. <laughs> do, do not laugh. I asked a French man what his favourite game console was. He said we. Oui. No. <laughs> Don't laugh. That's too old. Yeah, but it's still funny. It's, like, it's old it's like you. Slightly. Right, so what are we doing next, Abby? Well, we're going to give it a go. Give a go? Have a go. At the Whisper Challenge. So, I've got my phone here. And some headphones for you. I'm going to play some music really, really loud. Is it, it going to be your rubbish music? Uh, no. Um, and then just so we don't get demonetised for having music, I'm going to put these on just so they um, muff out the sound a bit. they got nice little penguins on the side. There you go, look. What? I can still hear you not playing any music. I know. <laughs> they got nice penguins for you. He is a nice and warm, though. It's going to be really hot by the end of this. I'm going to be whispering some cycling-related phrases to you, and you've got to try and guess what I'm saying. Right. With the music playing. Whispering with music yeah. playing. <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay, let's go. Coffee and cake. Coffee and cake? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I wonder why you know that Don't one. Don't fool me with cake. <laughs> okay, next one. No. Steve Court. No. <laughs> Cheddar Gorge. Chaser Torch. What's that got to do with cycling? I don't know. <laughs> it's what I that you were saying. Cheddar Gorge. I've got Wiley in me ears. I have no idea. Cheddar Gorge. Oh, Cheddar Gorge. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Might have said that a bit louder that time. Peter Smith. Peter Smith. Peter Smith. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and those are your thoughts. Hi, Pete. Me. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. So I guess you win. Yes. Well, I'll get you next time. Next time. If there is a next time, you've got to watch this yes. one first and like it and comment and subscribe. Do all of those things. And if you have any more ideas for any real or fake products that I could try and trick Dad with next time. Contact me somehow. Instagram. Go to my Instagram again. <laughs> at abby.phillips1 on Instagram. Go to Men Lips Cycling Club's Instagram and like those posts. Right, so if you like this video, don't forget to do all those things. Don't forget to click the notification bell. And comment down below if you want to see us do this again. We've got some more silly ideas. Well, she's got some more silly ideas for another part of the Men Lips Cycling Club show. So thank you for watching. Thank you. And from Abby and Darren. Peace. <laughs> but see you next time. Or we'll see you Sunday if I do decide to quit.